Standing. So today we're going to test some target uh, material out. This is quarter inch mild steel, just regular steel that you'd buy from Home Depot. And we're going to start small with pistol calibers and work our way up and see what it takes to go through it. So, okay, so here we the go. First one we're going to shoot the Ruger Wrangler in 22 long rifle. Again, quarter inch mild steel. I'm not expecting much, but it should be fun. And I'll clear the weapon. All right, let's go look and see what it did. You could. All right, I missed a couple shots. Uh, you guys can sue me, but you can see it isn't literally doing anything to the plate at all. It, it's not even indenting. It's just splattering on the, the steel. So no damage with 22 right, Brad's got rifle. the Wrangler and 22 Magnum. We'll see if that does anything. Go ahead, Brad. See if you can shoot better <laughs> than us. Oh. All right, let's go check it out. Okay, I did see some of the hits, but again, absolutely no indentation, just splatter. That quarter inch is holding up pretty good. Pretty impressive. <laughs> American made. American made steel. Yeah, that's not Chinese. <laughs> All right, uh, now Brad's going to be shooting a 380 ACP in uh, Ruger LCP. And his trigger is better than my LCP, which makes me really mad. All right. All right. Same. So we have a splatter there that I saw. The bigger ones, again... Absolutely no damage, just splatter. Same. That's crazy. Might as well be in a 22. Yeah, didn't do a thing. So, where you are. American Should be ready to go. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and Jason's shooting his, uh, what is that, Jason? Mechanic uh, Elite SC subcompact. Nice. And what are you? What caliber are you shooting? Nine, nine millimeter. Nine millimeter, 124 grain hollow point. What type of hollow point? Uh, they're just a six hour. Okay. All right. Let's see what it does. <laughs> now the nine millimeter packing a little bit more punch i actually watched that one and that one yeah but i'm not seeing any damage just superficial yeah uh, you did hit the plastic that this was where i did a mold and it, it blew that plastic blew right off it plastic off pretty cool <laughs> nice. yeah well you can feel an indentation on that it took the plastic out of this where it was melted on you can feel it that's dented right there. did it de oh it did dent it it's definitely dented Oh, yeah, down there. Yeah, down at the bottom. So we have a dent. We have a dent. All right, so Hardcore is going to hit it with my Rossi R92 and 38 Special, 158 grain lead. Go ahead, buddy. All right. See if we can put a hole in it. <laughs> knocked it down, so we knocked it down, so clearly it's scared. <laughs> I think you just hit along the bottom. All right. All right, give it another one, Jason. Really a lot. Oh, he put it down again. Yeah, All right, see if he can shoot it without yeah. knocking down the plate. <laughs> I'm just going to hit it all again. Uh, oh, it's just, does it have... 
Ah, that was dead center. Empty. Yeah, we're empty. Nice. Okay. All right. Now you get a little more velocity out of that long barrel than a typical pistol cartridge. But again, no damage. Just tearing the plastic off that was melted on. Really no damage we'll to the put, plate. Uh, we're going to hit it with some 9 millimeter out of the carbine, which is still pretty equivalent to the 38 special out of the uh, rifle. So it ain't gonna do much, but we're just trying to do every caliber that we have and see if it does anything. Now, unfortunately I didn't plan ahead, so I didn't bring any Magnum cartridges or pretty much anything heavier than 223. So we'll go to 45 ACP, then we'll hit 223 and we'll see where we get to from there. But I, the 223 is gonna go right through it, I'm pretty sure, but it it'll done fun. nothing. There's like some so dents. The only, yeah. There's a dent say. here. I think that was 38 special. Um, had to have been because the nine right here and then 38 was the only thing that actually put an indentation yeah everything else was just that's why i want to see the nine out of the carving splawled out it's called again oh this uh, here this fpc is a, this is smith and &P. wesson m and p fpc and he's shooting full, nine millimeter holding pistol carbine okay with, with the hollow sun 510 that's that's pretty cool no. All right. It's the first people's choice. First people's okay. choice. Yeah. Huh? Not a millimeter. 124 grain FMJ. Bang, bang. That is a cool looking gun. Safety. It's no accident. <laughs> I'm going to aim a little low because it's getting hit high. Oh, yeah. That's got some punch. Yeah, it does. Well, it's burning a little more powder. Yeah. You tell How many you want on it? I don't know. Three or four. You killed it. All right, we'll clear the weapon. Clear. All right, so that's nine millimeter, and it's out of a carbine. He hit right there and right there. Oh, yeah. You oh, can dead tell. money, Brad. Yeah, you can tell it's got more speed on it. Yep. It's dimpling it just a little bit. A little slight indentation. Not bad. It's a little velocity. You know, if you still had this as body armor, you'd be okay. Up yeah. to, you know. You shot three times, right? Yeah. One, two, three. They're all slightly dented. Thing fold up. That is so cool. So violations helping up. Oh, what is that? Cow Ranch? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> 400 bucks. 400? I'm the one who told you about it. How could it be a violation? This, this, this friend of mine sent me a, a link. Cow Ranch, 400 bucks. <laughs> Went down, checked it out. It was real. I do like the color. Is that the coyote? That's that olive dress. Yeah. That's olive. Isn't that good looking? Yeah. Oh, you want me to it's a it? Gear Son 45 ACP MC 1911 SXLV. Say that 10 times fast. Yeah. That 10 times fast. Yeah. <laughs> 230 grain FMJ. And Jason's going to shoot the plate with that. Uh, a little low. A little high. There we go. Am I hitting it? No. I don't know. There you did. All right, so that one hit right there. It did. 40. Uh, it just left the jacket on just the Just a jacket, no dent. Still no real damage. Oh, this here? Uh, BCM, AR, upper and lower. None of that arrow, okay? Uh huh. BCM, BCM, okay. Multi caliber lower. Yeah. Okay. All right. Vortex Crossfire 2, 1 by 4 by 24. This is going to go right through. That's my. Right through. You ready? Yeah. Give it three. Okay. You're jammed. No, no, we're out of bullets. You only had one bullet? That's all that was in it. That, uh, that 223 didn't even slow down. Yeah. Perfect hole. Right through the back. I think I think you're dead. The jacket stopped Jack, to the rubber, though. The outside. Quarter inch mild steel, defeated by 223. We should have brought more pistol 
like some Magnum cartridges. Jason's gonna get it with his two, two, three. That'll be even better because he's got a longer barrel. Yeah, it's it's not even gonna slow down. No, no. Aim a little low. Yeah, I think we put some holes in it, right? Let's, let's go check it out. Let's go look at it. We'll clear the weapons. I'm, I'm in that zone. So quarter inch, like I know guys that were putting quarter inch in their house for our, it did stop one, sort of. Wow. No. No, no, it didn't. These are the steel core also. Oh, you're supposed so, to shoot it with regular. So the, so the jacket's just coming off. And yeah, but even the non-steel core went right through. So like if you, if you were trying to armor your house, that ain't gonna do a thing. Like, <laughs> that ripped right through that. So now you know. Now we, so we really should have brought some 44 mag, maybe some 357 mag and tried some Magnum cartridges. I think with quarter inch, you're pretty good on most pistol cartridges. Uh, but this 223 went right through it like it's not even there, so. That was a lot of fun. Hey, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.